Hello all, welcome back to Serious Care Technologies. Today in this video we will be seeing how to make a simple safety wall. As you can see on the screen, the first motto of ours is to understand the drawing. Now, in the drawing we can see that there are two views and the angle of projection is actually a first angle projection. So if this is my front view, this will be my top view. Now, the section view is cut at this location as you can see as I am scrolling around. This is the section view of the model to understand the internal features of your either your holes or the internal cuts. Now, various dimensions are provided to you so we can make the model one after the other or one step. Now first we know that this major particular one is a circle as you can see is a circle of 120 dia. Now it's up to 17 and 36, but this particular body, as um, as you can see on the screen, I'm trying to show it to you. This particular body is actually of this shape. So we can make this later, add it to the body, and then slowly add the circles as well. Now let us begin how to make this component. To make this component, we'll be using part module. It's a very uh, beginner level of a component. So under mechanical design, we'll be working on a part design. Under part design, you can either use pad or you can use your shaft. I am trying to use shaft because I can maintain 17 and 36, but you can do the same thing using pad as well. Let me try to show you using uh, shaft. First, let us try to take an axis. And the rectangle. Now, the rectangle from here to here is actually 17, and the distance from the center to the end is actually 36. This is this is the 36, and this is the 17, and this is the 36. Now, the overall diameter, since we already know, is 120, so we can give this as 120, and say okay. This is using your shaft command. Now, the same thing can also be done using your pad. How do you do that? Under your pad command, you can simply make a sketch, give 120. Now, while adding the material, you can do two direction addition of material. In direction one, I want it to be 36, which is towards the upward side. Onto the other side, I want it to be 17 only. You can do either way, both are flexible. I am trying to maintain the exact dimensions given to me in the drawing and I am trying to follow a simple feature based approach while making this model. Now, on the top of this, I can add the shape which is up to 22. So again, I can use pad command and start making my sketch. Uh, let me go back to the top view once again to check and start making the exact shape as we can see in the drawing. The center to center distance is given as 70 and the radii of this is given as 25. Let's use bitangent lines. If you want to know more about uh, bitangent line, I have a sketcher tutorial which we have posted recently as a playlist. I'll drop the link in the description box. If you're interested, you can go ahead and look for that video. It gives you a detailed description about all the commands used in CATI as sketcher module. This should be added up to 20. You can add these or you can remove the material. Let's add this first. I am trying to use the shaft command to add this because I know the dimensions are 45 and then 35. So let me try to use shaft. You can again use pad as well. There are no restrictions as such. Whichever command is flexible for you, you can start using those commands. Now starting the profile actually is like this. 
and then closes it here. Let me try to constrain it. I took it a little bit outside than I should. Go inside. Now, let us give the diameter dimensions. For the outer one, the diameter is actually given as 45. And for the inner one, which you can see is given as 35. This is the 35. Now, one is 4 and one is 6. The overall is 6 and actually this is 4. And the overall distance as we know is 6 mm. So, from here to the end is supposed to be 6. Now, once I say exit, it adds the material. You can use pad command and do, uh, do the same as well. But to maintain 6, it's a little tough. You need to take a plane and add the material up till the plane. So, shaft is a little more easier. If you want, you can use a pad and take a plane and add material up to 6 if you are willing to maintain the exact dimensions provided to us in the drawing. Now, let's try to remove material. Again, I am trying to use uh, shaft, uh, sorry, groove. And then I am trying to use the existing references. I wanted the axis. Yes. Now, I have a material which I would like to remove like this manner as you can see. So, I will make this sketch and then start slowly removing the material. For this, I need the cylinder projection as well. So, I am using the cylinder projections too and I am trying to make the profile. Now, while making the profile, I just need to follow the shape and make sure it ends on the edge. We know the dimensions that is uh, this is actually supposed to be 12 and also we know the diameters for the upper one this is supposed to be uh, in the way supposed to be 65. Let me try to take 65. And then the bottom one is actually 50. Let us try to take that as 50 as well. We know that this is starting at 17. While beginning uh, of a model, we have actually given 17 on one side and 36 on the other. So here we instead of giving 17 again, we can actually coincide this on the horizontal axis. This is one way of uh, the one way of, the, of, an, of having an advantage by following the exact dimensions provided to us in the drawing. Now removal of material is to be done in this manner. Uh, there are internal cuts as well. For this also, it's better to use a group command. Again, you can use holes as well. Multiple holes might not help. So, I'm trying to use a simple uh, draft command to do so. So, I'm trying to take these references and uh, again, trying to start making the profile from here. And the profile is supposed to end till here as you can see. That is the edge of the model. Let me start making the sketch under normal mode. Uh, this is supposed to be 28. So, I will give this dimension. This is supposed to be 28. And the diameter for this is actually internal cut is 33. So, I would like to take that as 33 as well. Now, continuing. There is a line arc. And another line and then this goes down this is supposed to be 30 as per the drawing I will give it I'll give the dimension in a minute now, these dimensions are mandatory to be maintained as per the drawing only if you give radius diameters here it reflects the same in the drawing now we know that this point and this is actually it's given over here, which is 40. And the length is given as 5. So, see, 5. Now, once I exit, it tries to remove the material from the inner side. I can show you the internal cut by using your dynamic sectioning from the front view, as you can see. 
there are two holes which are supposed to be uh, drilled on the top face it is of 10 dia depth 15 the symbol is for depth so i can directly select the feature start positioning give the dimension is 10 the depth is 15 and it has to have a v bottom as you can see in the this can be mirrored onto the opposite side using a simple mirror command. If you want, you can check now as well using your dynamic sectioning. Now, last are the finishing operation which are your rounds. So, I would like to give rounds wherever uh, necessary that is these edges. So, let me try to give rounds to these. This is actually 3. Can give 3. This is your very simple part modeling of a safety valve using CATIA as the CAT tool. If you want to learn further more about CATIA and its advanced levels, please feel free to contact us. Our details are given in the description below. Thank you.